Welcome back to my garden in York. Have you seen any caterpillars where you are? If so, how many different species? There are around 2,500 different moths in this country and nearly 60 butterflies, so that makes an awful lot of different caterpillars you might be seeing. They've all got one thing in common. They are eating machines. Their job is to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. And so they've got lots of nutrients so they can do that amazing thing of pupating and turning into a butterfly or a moth. These are some caterpillars of a large white butterfly. They hatched, as you can see, on the leaf of some broccoli I was growing in the garden. Uh, here they are when they hatched. And 10 days later, no leaf. Lots of caterpillar, no leaf. They like eating leaves. They like chomping. Chomping's champion. Chomping's great. Leaves and leaves and leaves to be it. Chomping's champion. Chomping's brill. So many leaves. Such a thrill. Chomping's champion. Chomping's ace. Leaves galore. Stuff my face. Chomping's champion. Can't go wrong. All these leaves all day long. Chomping mini bread. Chomping halt. Tech time off to have a <coughs> malt. Then back to chomping, black to chomp by chlorophyllic gastro romp. <gasps> Chomping's champion, chomping's cool. Leaves and leaves and leaves as a rule. Chomping's champion, chomping's fab. Pile on the milligrams, pile on the flab. Chomping, chomping till one day I go to sleep. Then fly away. That poem is from my award-winning book, Buzzing, Discover the Poetry in Garden Mini Beasts. And here is the poem as it appears in that book, in case you'd like to perform it for yourself. And if you do, I'd love to see your video or hear your audio. It's quite a long poem to perform, so what you might want to do in the first instance is listen back to me performing it and join in with the Jumping's Champion line. It's a very satisfying thing to say, Jumping's Champion. And something else that's satisfying to say is the scientific name for the ruby tiger moth, whose caterpillar I saw in my garden and inspired this poem. So as you'll see from the facts page of my buzzing book about the ruby tiger moth, its scientific name is Phragmatobia fuliginosa. Try saying that, it feels fabulous in your mouth. Phragmatobia fuliginosa. So I wonder if you'll see a Phragmatobia fuliginosa caterpillar in your garden or what other caterpillars you'll see near where you are. Almost all the caterpillars in this video I photographed in my garden, and my garden's tiny, just eight metres by eight metres. So if I can see that many different caterpillars where I am, who knows what you'll see where you are. You can carry on looking through the spring and the summer into the autumn, all sorts of caterpillars around there. If you'd like help identifying what you see, you could upload a photo to iSpot where people will help you. Or of course, you might have a really good book with lots of caterpillars in or find some ID charts online. For more of my Learning Through Laughter, Rhythm and Rhyme nature videos about the birds and the mini beasts that you might be seeing where you are, go to my website, thebigbuzz.biz, and click on Stuck at Home Resources. So I wish you happy caterpillar hunting wherever you may find yourself at the moment, and I will see you again soon for more Learning Through Laughter, Rhythm and Rhyme nature videos. Bye.